My recommendation is to form a task force, be very clear about it. This task force is composed of 17 members. Uh, I couldn't find a way to make it smaller and still be inclusive. Um, some people like smaller task forces, but then I'll tell you, if someone's out because they're doing a delivery, they wouldn't be represented, and that gave me pause. Um, I'm going to be just listing the exact makeup of this task force. The recommendation would be three traditional cultural home practitioners, home birth practitioners, excuse me, three members of the public who have given uh, birth at home, three, CERT, three CPMs uh, to be selected in consultation with the Midwives Alliance of North America, who can testify, three nurse midwives, three physicians, of which uh, two are OBGYNs, and one is a neonatologist. One represented from the Healthcare Association of Hawaii. I'll tell you who that, what that group is. They represent the Hospital Association. Uh, the Director of Health, or, or designee. Actually, and I, I'm glad I'm reading this out right now. And I also have a commitment to um, having uh, members from the naturopathic community. So I'm going to add uh, two naturopaths. There are only four that are delivering in the state. So my apologies, there will be 19 members of the task force. Okay? Um, to add three of whom there are only four in the state. So make that change, 19 members, and add those two naturopaths. And just so people understand that this is not uh, prescriptive in its nature, the task force can and should discuss absolutely anything it chooses to. Some task forces say, shall. In other words, that would be a mandate that people would have to take up certain issues. The language here is may. Okay? So I say very specifically, issues to be addressed for recommendations to the legislature may include, but are not limited to. And these are all the many things that were brought up by members of the community. Um, whether there should be a discussion about home birth standards, uh, and what the interdisciplinary collaboration should be between disciplines, whether there should be licensure for disciplines or not, what standards for patient history should be or not, standards for the assessment of potential um, complications, definitions of what is a high-risk pregnancy, emergency transfer protocols, uh, questions regarding informed consent, recommendations on liability, review of uh, data and studies, which I think there was considerable um, disagreement about, and then it finally says the task force shall submit a report of its findings and recommendations to the legislature no later than 20 days prior to the next session. That's standard language. There's an appropriation uh, clause here in case the task force needs some resources to carry out its work. That would have to be, of course, approved by the Ways and Means Committee. So um, just so people know, some people use the word task force, some people say work group, they're interchangeable. Nothing in this uh, piece of legislation now has anything to do specifically with mandating a license or what have you. It's really a pure discussion, and I hope this brings everybody to the table. Uh, the reason I recommend personally that we have a, a bill and a task force and not just do it informally is because this will bring everyone to the table, and I can't really envision a circumstance in which suddenly one group would say, you know, I don't want any part of that, because then they wouldn't be represented. If we do it in an informal setting, I think there's a higher likelihood, personally, that there could be a rift. And so I like the idea. I respect colleagues if they think that it's still too much. Um, at this point, it doesn't place any mandates on anybody, and it leaves absolutely open a discussion for all members of this particular discipline, that of Glover Davis. Members? Discussion? Discussion. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, thank you for your recommendation. Uh, I will reiterate I did not see a problem it did not require government intervention or regulation. Um, I will follow up on what the chairman said. Thank you all for coming. Had you not come the other day, guaranteed the government would be in your birthing room. Yeah. Guaranteed there would be mandates. And there are still those people that want the government to regulate you. So I would suggest that you keep our feet to the fire, that you keep involved, but let people know that if you get involved, you've got more power. This is, after all, the government of the people, and you are the people. So this issue will not go away, and it's not been settled, but I thank the chairman for his recommendation in changing a god-awful bill into a task force. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you. The recommendation of the Health 
uh, chair to the health committee is to pass Senate Bill 2569 with amendments. Chair Green, Vice Chair votes aye. Senator Chuck Open, aye. Senator Nishihara, aye. Senator Sloan, aye. Measures adopted, Chair. Same recommendation to the Committee on Commerce and Consumer Protection. Recommendation is to pass Senate Bill 2569 with amendments. Chair votes aye. Senator Taniguchi, excuse Senator Nishihara. Aye. I vote aye. Senator Sloan. Aye. Chair, your recommendations are done. Same recommendation of the discussion. Chair votes aye. Senator votes aye. Senator Gabbard. Aye. Senator Galtieri. Aye. Senator Nishihara. Aye. Senator Sloan. Excuse Senator Sloan. Aye. Senator Sloan. And just so people understand, too, so there's um, this part of the goes. So the way we do it is we'll, when we file the committee report, things like that. Don't become official and you won't see this draft until it's filed. Okay, so people should not go home and say, Oh my goodness, previous bills or previous amendments are still up there. This is the formal recommendation which you just heard. So you should share that. Uh, we can definitely share an email copy of this with a few people and then it can easily be spread out, no problem. I just have to make that one change to the two naturopathic positions just because I, I didn't know that back then. Okay. Thank you everyone for coming. Appreciate it. Um, so I'm sorry, I'm not going to miss the decision, but I have heard that the task force and the 19-member task force, uh, one question that we had was, how are you going to go about selecting the members? Yeah, it's in there. So each group, technically the governor will appoint them, okay, which is how the task force is ordered. Right, 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 right. But each organization will make recommendations from their cohort. In other words, um, uh, for the docs, right? There, ACOG will make some recommendations for people and then the governor will listen and make some recommendations. We, Same we thing put in, for in consultation but, with okay. yeah. but, but for instance, just so people are very clear, there was not going to be recommendations from the CPMs or to recommend who the right. CNMs are, right. nor right. the right. native healers aren't going to be recommending who the docs or the right. docs aren't going to be recommending who the natural. But they're all government appointed ultimately. They are. Although they will, there's so many people in this task force that honestly, the 19 most interested people, three people are those who deliver babies, who don't happen to be a CNM or a CPM, and um, three people are lay healers, native Hawaiian healer or traditional healer, depending. A lot of people describe themselves differently. Um, so the only thing that was really quite was a little more specific was that the director of health, which we always put, or their designee. Mm -hmm and a neonatologist, and we just put one of them, and there's only really one guy that came here who seemed to have that credential, so I have a feeling that that will be the individual. But we certainly don't name anybody, and if everybody else wants to weigh in, it's totally good. Um, and also, I was telling people, just as a matter of course, task forces, when they work well, people get together as often as you can, and then come together where, if you have any recommendations everyone agrees on, which could happen after hearing that, hearing, list those and then the stuff that not everyone agreed on be very clear that not everyone agreed on that because the task force will tell us yeah. this is a formal recommendation or How we didn't always consensus agree. we have yeah right okay okay and so you know is the task force mandated specifically towards legislation i mean does it have to be a no. legislative remedy no, or does no. it so just say, they could say we'd like to continue for another year right. they could say the task force could say we were unable to reach consensus but we spent a year talking the task force could say the one thing that we all agreed on was that um, what uh, oh geez, I, it's so hard to say. It's such a broad right, subject. Right, right. But you're yeah. saying that, that that the task force is open to make its own report and recommendations. Right. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, totally. With no meddling. Anyway. Okay. So the, the language is may. It's not oh. not shall, but okay. may address these. Issues. Before you finish writing out the OBs, I know of the three are MDs. Of those in sit, I mean, you said two are OB, but what about FPOB? Would they qualify? No. And if so, can you write that in? At first, I thought about that, you okay. know, and ultimately, because it was getting so large, I'm an FP who did put B, okay? But there's only two OBs on the thing and one neonatologist, and I just, and there's going to be 19 people on it. I thought it not fair to possibly go to just like only one. OB yeah. and then have one family practice person. I'll tell you this though, there may be a family practitioner who wants to get on it. They may have done a home delivery. I mean, there's, there's some flexibility there. 
So there are some, there's a little bit of, so there might be some. Well, I mean with the OB Fellowship, they actually, like, there are a couple, not a lot, but there are a couple here in the state, yeah. and one is a Hawaiian woman who is FP with an OB Fellowship from Texas. Let, let me tell people, <coughs> tell you guys before I go also, one other thing that happens in these task forces, there's nothing to exclude. That I've had many task forces where someone else ended up, wasn't on the task force and contributed 50 times more than anybody else, because they came to all the meetings, they sat at the table. The only technical thing is you don't cast a vote. But at these task forces, votes are not taken. I mean, if you don't have consensus, you don't tend to have so a So it's up to the participants really to push it forward and make yeah. it work. If a participant says, you know what, I know this terrific family doc. She has been doing a lot of home deliveries. She happened to also earlier in her career be a CPM. She should be here, but there's not a natural category for her because all of our th three CPM spots are taken invite that person and have them contribute a ton. They could be your convener. They could be just an expert witness. You can have subcommittees where you, by subcommittee, you have a group of 15 people that are all live in Puna who are, have a little cohort that are working on a specific problem that the committee could take up. But the formal members of the task force has to be constrained a little bit, otherwise you just never get to meet. And also, um, whenever you have a task force, you do have to post, we'll help with this, but you have to post a notice so people know that it's happening. With the lieutenant governor's right. office. And it's subject to sunshine, uh, to, to sunshine law. I mean, it's uh, open to public, right. So, so, yeah. so, so the, the chapter 91 of the sunshine law, it means that all the public, anybody can attend, and usually there, there are places for everybody to participate. Let me make a recommendation, too. Um, I would now, right now that people are kind of coming together, and I, I'm not going to say like this bill, but I, I think there's little to dislike about bringing everyone together. I think you probably should write um, at least some letters to the Ways and Means. I'll, I'll recommend to the Ways and Means Committee that they should come up with some funds because that way you can fly people from the neighbor yeah. island. Thank you. Yeah, that would Thank be exactly. Because yes. otherwise, or go or take two meetings out there and everyone flies there, or make sure that they spend money to have. Tele, you know, telecommunications. Live stream. Yeah, that kind of thing. And this is a yeah, like paying a live streamer would be great. <laughs> <laughs> a live streamer does this all for free. That I think it's very smart to do that because you might interesting things happen. You could have a task force that has no formal recommendations but produces a documentary on the dialogue that happened in 2014. So we know what the general feeling about it is. Even if there's not consensus, you could have a you could have an hour long documentary about home birthing in Hawaii, that could be better than anything that comes out of this because then young moms and dads could know, okay, yeah. you know what, these are the people, these are some of the actual practitioners, these are some of the native healers, these are some of the, you know, the OBs that are either friendly to the cause or interested in the cause. You could have that be a very meaningful product, even if the bill never passes, and then you could put it, post it on websites and say, if you're interested in home birth at home in Hawaii, this is the dialogue we're having, and these are your options. That that probably be just as good or better than any legislation that any of us could come up with. So think about those kind of things, but they don't come for free. So write mm -hmm. to the Ways and Means Committee and tell them if we're going to go forward with this. Consider. Can I ask about the facilitator? Can I choose whoever you want. Oh, we would just yeah. Choose, okay. choose whoever. You want. Choose three choose. people. Choose one person. Okay. Choose whoever. Right. And um, chooses the structure. By default, it runs by parliamentary procedure yes. or Robert's Rules right. of Order, but it doesn't have to. Excuse me. So. Okay. Thank you. you bet. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you, Senator. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. I'm still live. Okay, so we're we're going to um, all talk amongst ourselves. We're going to look at the legislation that has come forward, and we'll be making a decision from there. So, uh, so basically, it looks like it's going to go forward. The way it means. Um, one question was 27 totally deferred. Deferred. Okay. Okay. So in theory, it's being the idea is being rolled into this one, right? Okay, that's what they're saying. So we may need to, um, you know, we may need to. Look Everybody at, needs to stay tuned. We need to stay tuned. We, But he also said he would email it to us right. sooner, so yes. I'm going to ask him to get it sooner. Yeah, I'm going to put our email. Yes. We just need to be on our toes until yes. we see it. We have to see it in our head. Right. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Absolutely. So the most important thing, exactly, at any of those points, if it goes to WAM and then crosses, and then goes to the Senate floor and there's more discussion, and then it goes to the House, at any of those points, it can change. be changed. Right. So be, so we just need to all be on it. Yeah. And be involved. Right. But be peaceful. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Good day. So it's, a, it, it's looking good so far, but you know, we need to see and we need to discuss and we need to communicate and then we're going to come up with um, the best way to proceed from here. Great. Yeah. I, and, think it, I was just going to say, I think uh, it changed because of all the people that came out. So definitely influence exerted by people coming out. It changed because of all the people that came out. Yeah. It came because of all of us. He said if we hadn't come, it would have gone through. Yes. 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 So, great. Yeah, so good, good job on the part yeah. of people. And mahalo to Hawaii Gorilla Video Hui and <laughs> yeah. Dr. Matsuoka. Yeah, and Please donate to, to Hawaii Gorilla Video Hui, <laughs> who right. have been here for this entire process That's and right. stayed for that entire six hours plus. <laughs> That's um, right. And so we're very, uh, we're very thankful. For, for all of the support in this and also the research because one of the things that would have made it difficult for us to pass is I don't know if everybody caught it but there were lobbyists here right. specifically here ACOG. Yeah, ACOG lobbyists who are paid specifically and are campaign funders of Josh Green and, and, and who contributed who, to yes, uh, um, who were presumably here, probably not just for the ambiance, but probably <laughs> to try to stop what we were doing, right. but we didn't even make a real attempt after seeing the force that was shown by the families, the midwives, and the community that came out. That's right. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Uh, yeah, how about you video? We're signing off.